How can the keto diet block cancer? That's the question I'll be answering based on cutting edge research. But before we dive into the details, let's address something important. Maybe you felt skeptical about the idea that keto could be anti-cancer, and trust me, you're not alone. Many people react negatively to the notion of keto being beneficial for cancer, because keto is often misunderstood. People tend to think of it as an elimination diet, cutting out carbs and sugar and boom, magic happens. But the truth is far more complex and interesting. So, why is there such resistance? Well, it might be because many of us are emotionally connected to carbohydrates. Think about it. Bread, pasta, sweets. They're comfort foods, right? It feels like someone is labeling carbs as evil when they promote keto. But let's make one thing clear. Carbs aren't the enemy here. Instead, the real focus should be on the addition of something powerful. Ketosis. Keto isn't just about removing carbs, it's about adding a metabolic state that can fundamentally shift how your body works. When you're in ketosis, your body produces ketone bodies, specifically beta-hydroxybutyrate or BHB. These ketones don't just serve as fuel for your body, they're also involved in signaling and hormone regulation, acting like master controllers of metabolism. In fact, BHB is more than just energy for your cells. It's like the steering wheel guiding your metabolism toward health, and this is where cancer comes into play. A fascinating study recently published shows how the ketogenic diet literally reshapes cancer metabolism. It all comes down to how cancer cells grow. Cancer cells need energy, and they get it by breaking down sugar through a process called glycolysis. This process allows them to grow rapidly using sugar to create the building blocks they need. It's like a factory running full speed, pumping out new materials to fuel growth. But here's the twist. Cancer cells are really good at flipping metabolic switches that enhance growth, particularly by activating a protein complex called mTOR, or mammalian target of rapamycin. mTOR is one of the master regulators of cell growth and plays a key role in how cancer cells become unstoppable. So, where does keto fit into all this? The study found something remarkable. Beta-hydroxybutyrate, the key ketone body in ketosis, acts like a wrench in the cancer cell's machinery. BHB binds to an enzyme called aldolase B, which is critical for breaking down sugar and glycolysis. When BHB attaches itself to this enzyme, it effectively slows down the sugar breakdown process. Think of it like trying to run while someone is holding you back. You just can't move forward as fast. This directly inhibits the growth of cancer cells, and that's not all. By inhibiting this enzyme, BHB also blocks mTOR, the master regulator of cell growth, giving cancer a one-two punch. The result? Cancer metabolism gets disrupted and the cells struggle to grow and multiply. When you think about it from this perspective, keto isn't just about restricting carbs. It's about adding ketones, molecules that can actually reshape how cancer cells function, starving them of the fuel they need while disrupting their growth pathways. It's a metabolic state that allows your body to fight back against cancer in a powerful, natural way. Now, to be clear, this doesn't mean carbs are evil. Carbs have their place and they serve important functions in many diets. But cancer? Cancer is a serious threat. And if something like ketosis, driven by ketone bodies, can block the pathways cancer relies on, that's something worth paying attention to. This is especially promising for people who want to take proactive steps in supporting their body's ability to combat disease. Keto isn't a magic bullet, but it can be a tool in the fight against cancer thanks to how it reprograms metabolism. So, if you've been skeptical about keto's role in blocking cancer, it's time to rethink that. The ketogenic diet adds a powerful metabolic state, ketosis, that can help starve cancer cells and inhibit their growth. While keto might not be for everyone, its ability to reshape metabolism is undeniable. As new research continues to emerge, the potential for dietary approaches like keto to play a role in cancer prevention and treatment becomes more compelling. No. Carbs aren't the enemy, but cancer sure is. And if ketosis can help slow it down, that's incredible news for all of us. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about how to harness ketosis for health and wellness, or if you're curious about more cutting-edge research on keto, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for future videos.